<laughs> Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with an exciting update and this has to do with uh, audio to face from um, uh, NVIDIA and for Omniverse. Uh, listen to this real quick. So what you've just heard guys is coming straight from uh, Omniverse over here on the right hand side streaming live into the Unreal Engine. <laughs> this is incredible because this is not the MetaHuman animator, this is live streaming because remember the MetaHuman animator you have to process the data that comes from your iPhone 10 into the Unreal Engine then onto the MetaHuman. But what Nvidia has done with audio to face is you, can, you are able to stream facial animation straight from audio to face into the Unreal Engine without having to process the data. Uh, you no, know, this is real time. Like this character that you see right here is in a new project that I've created. These are the, meta, the newer MetaHumans at 5.2 version. And you can see how beautiful the skin looks. The, the animation, the, the eyes look like there is life in them. And that all is coming from this new update from audio to face uh, for Omniverse. I'm going to walk you through how to create, how uh, to get this to work and how to install the, uh, the Omniverse live link to the Unreal Engine. <laughs> okay. But before we do, let's try some other voices. Okay. Let's try English with, with that one. The one we're listening to was Chinese. Let's try English. So we're looking for female English voice, this one. And you notice that it's it's creating automatic keys and there's an option for it right here, auto generate on track change. Let's go ahead and play. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, Professor Austin. Isn't that amazing that you can see the emotion and all of this is being automatically generated by AI. None of this is coming from performance capture like for an iPhone. Everything is procedural as we speak and you can adjust the facial animation, you can adjust the expressiveness, you can adjust the skin strength. There's so much that you can do over here even after processing uh, the eye darts you know left and right i think it's called saccade the eye blinks the mouth opening all those all of those are made possible because of this uh stream link right here and also the air kit uh face tuner you know so how do you get this to work first thing first is you you need to install it from the launcher so this is the omniverse launcher and you're gonna find audio to face as one of the options here. But if you don't, if you don't already have it, you can go to the exchange and find it in this section over here, right? So this is where most of all of them are found. And install it. And once it's installed, it will show up on your library over here. So right now I'm using the 2023.1.1 version, which is, is you need that because it has the hotfix that enables you to get access to the live link plugin right so the way you get the live link plugin you click on these three dashes the options are here click on settings and the install path go to it this is audio to face 2023.1.1 click on that and in here in the ue plugins double click and double click one more time and if you have Unreal Engine 5.1, use that one. If you have Unreal Engine 5.2, use this one. So double click on this one and it's gonna be in here. So this folder right here is what you need to copy and send and put that into your Unreal Engine folder where the, plug the plugins folder. So it's gonna look like this. So this is my Unreal Engine 5.2. Go to the engine, double click on that, go to plugins and simply right click and paste and it will be over here, the Omniverse live link. Okay. When you're done with that, then you need to go to the Unreal Engine. 
go to your let's go to Android engine over here go to settings go to plugins let me first turn off the audio over here go to plugins over here okay installed and you can see that uh, if we look for Nvidia it's gonna be Nvidia Omniverse audio to face live link and that's version 202.0.1 for as of the recording of this video and make sure you enable that it's going to ask you to restart your project and restart that and it will be ready for you so what the next time you go to the live link bring up your live link you'll be able to click here and add the source from nvidia live link okay and once it's enabled it will be ready to receive animation then inside of omniverse over here it's actually uh, let me show you the folder the folder that you need to be looking at so when you first open the audio to face 2023.1.1 you're gonna see this folder right here okay the projects that you need to start with are called uh, they have a underscore error kit extension right right there so you can either use Claire solved error kit or you can use the one for mark solved error kit so let's just double click one time on mark okay and if it requires you to process uh, the sensor RT, then please uh, give it a time to do that but this is a project that is ready to run you don't even need to do anything in the past where to process to prepare two models but with this you don't even need to do that so you simply expand audio to face over here click on the stream live link okay and click activate so as long as you have in the Unreal engine as long as you have it ready over here so let me actually show you how let me just go ahead and uh, delete this come on okay let's delete this so now it goes back into like just a, a static uh, <laughs> neutral face go to source over here go to nvidia make sure you install this plugin otherwise this whole thing is not gonna work click ok so it's waiting for the animation okay go to omniverse audio to face audio to face 2023 and select the stream link after you expand like audio to face over here expand that click on the stream link scroll down a little bit and click activate right so if we were to make this a little bit smaller and uh, let's go back to live link over here so it shows you that the animation is it's getting ready to send the animation so for the character to work make sure that uh, your model is selected your meta human is selected over here and at the bottom over here where it goes uh, live link make sure you select the auto audio to face animation right there and also enable error kit use error kit face check on that right and that is what is going to make it possible for the live link to communicate with your meta human uh, to run the facial animation and now in over here when you press play you'll be able to see that so that step is very important to be able to like in in the Unreal engine that you select your model and make sure you switch to the audio to face animation part of it and if you play back you can actually see the animation playing back right there and that's really really cool <laughs> we never used to be able to do this right and you can turn on the loop over here and then allow the character to loop so you can actually see the facial animation now what's amazing are the options that you get from this let me walk you through real quick what, what they are so first if you click on stream live link and i'm gonna let this play in real time so gaze is enabled right so before like if you didn't have gaze on the character would lo look like they're not looking at uh, the person so let me click on the character right here and rotate just oh let's go back to focus on the character all 
all right and i think i need to change my settings in here uh data preferences orbit around camera selection enable that close so now if i can orbit around her so we can see okay so if she's looking over here and we go to audio to face uh, select the stream link over here and enable gaze so you can see how the eye is shifting ever so slightly yeah which means that uh, this character here is gonna be you so you what you're trying to do is make sure the character is looking at the camera right which is what you want and let me go back over here put the character over here uh, so we can see her all right so let's go back to audio to face all right so gaze is enabled so the character will be able to look straight at the camera which is really really good and you can also adjust where you want the gaze to be over here gaze location let me expand this a little bit so you can adjust and where you want the gaze to be if you want the character to focus on there so when i play back so the character is going to focus down here which is really 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 handy and so if i want to go back to where it was let's go to zero and we'll look straight at the camera that we have so when we play back the character is looking straight at us okay so that's really that's one of the options and you can also enable idle head right here so without the idle head enabled the character just uh, plays so if you have a motion capture suit and you want to use this data on your own mock-up data you can disable head rotation and then just apply to your own mock-up right but if you want it to work with a head you can also uh, adjust head multiplier so watch what happens when i increase it you get more head movement over there like that so i'm gonna put it at around 3.3 .3, so you get like a nice like like that so cool <laughs> right and this is all procedure guys this is ai working to make sure that this facial animation is working properly looking at us uh, and again the, the difference between this and meta human animator is this is procedure meta human animator you have to process everything this you can adjust in real time and the leap movement is really good so watch this so i'm gonna go over here uh, let me actually pause this for a second and i'm gonna increase let's go to post processing over here we can adjust the blink strength all the way to two right and you can see the difference blink strength and then the blink interval we can turn it down to like even you know how characters sometimes look like they are lifeless that uncanny valley feel you can adjust that and also the eye dot you know the left and right the saccade movement that's so important to add life so you can increase the strength a little bit also and then when we play back the character looks more alive than if it's not there you know the eyes are moving ever so slightly giving it life is blinking you know so the address i just increased the blink strength so that you could actually see what it looks like but that's the, that's the kind of control that you have using audio to face right so <laughs> this is amazing uh nvidia thank you so much for this update and the fact that it works seamlessly with a meta human with live streaming in real time is amazing and then you can definitely record this on your uh, take uh let's go over here so if you want to record this you simply have to add this to the timeline and then enable your tech recorder over here and be able to record everything and then have it in the sequencer to work with okay so but that's what i wanted to walk you through real quick guys that uh it's available now audio to face 2023.1.1 has added the ability for us to use live link streaming 
and you can find the plugin under settings over here. Go to the path and browse to UE plugins, double click and find it in here. So I hope this was helpful guys. Uh, Omniverse is really, really amazing, uh, but audio to face has, is taking it to another level for facial animation. And I hope this uh, will give you some ideas on what to do. So it's it's incredible what you can do. It's, so you could literally re record your own voice and use that instead of these audio files over here. So you simply have to go here, find a source file, and then be able to use it on that, okay? So when I did a video before that shows like a rap artist, so it's things like that that you can do, but the nuance that you're able to get from the facial animation is taking advantage of uh, the Unreal, uh, the sorry, the MetaHuman Control Rig, or the facial rig, to add such cool facial animation. So I'm going to play with this. I'm continuing to test it and share with you. I want to create like a short film with this, but I hope this was helpful. I hope you can get, this will give you like get started. So you, you, you can create some awesome, awesome facial animation using audio to face onto the MetaHuman. This is like, this changes everything in terms of uh, facial animation from uh, audio to face to the MetaHumans. And I'm using uh, the newer MetaHumans, the 5.2, uh, to be able to get that kind of quality. But this, isn't that amazing? <laughs> So guys, I hope this was helpful. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Uh, we'll, may you continue to dream big, guys, and may we continue to these, t use these technologies to, t to bring our stories to life, right? I love you so much. God bless you, and please stay safe. Uh, bye for now.